So this is Michael, MI0HOZ, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an MMDVM based Pi Star uh, Jumbo Spot Board or Hotspot, DMR, D Star, and System Fusion Hotspot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download SD Formatter to format the SD card, which you get from sdcard.org. I'm using the Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version, and you click Accept and then Download. After you've downloaded SD card, you need to download Etcher. And Etcher is downloaded from balena.io, and I'm downloading for the Mac OS. Then you go to pystar.uk, go to Downloads, Download PyStar, and we're going to download the Raspberry Pi version, which is this one, pystar.rpi version 3.4.16, which is the latest version. So you download that. So while you're waiting for the, for the, the PyStar, is a particularly large download, it's about five or 600 megabytes. So while you're waiting for that to load, you run SD Formatter. Don't forget to put in your password. And this will do a quick format, this will format your SD card. So click on format. And it should only take a few seconds to do a quick format. An overwrite format takes quite a few minutes. There we go, format complete. And now we're going to open up the etcher. So we select image. My image is on the desktop, and it is, here we go, high star, and click on flash, and it should only take a few minutes, put your password in, as you can see it doesn't take too long, and after it's finished flashing, it will verify the, the burning process to make sure that it's been done okay. Now that we have written the image onto the SD card, we put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi Zero. And now this takes quite a few minutes. You'll see a new Wi Fi network called Pi Star Setup. So if you go in there and the password is Raspberry, click Join. And once it's joined, we should get confirmation. Yes, we know we've joined. So we now go onto a website called pystar.local and click on configuration and go down to the bottom and click on configure Wi-Fi. So we're going to scan for networks. And this is my network, so I'm going to connect to it. And click on Save and Connect. So it'll take a few minutes. In fact, what we will do is, is we will click on power and click reboot. And we'll connect back to our own network. Shouldn't take me too much longer.
and there we are. So now we're going to configuration. And the controller software should be selected as MMDVM host, simplex mode, and the host name, just PyStar will do. We put in our call sign. And the frequency I use is 438.58750. Uh, that's the simplex channel one on uh, DMR radio. Put in your latitude and longitude. Your town. Locator. Country. I do automatic for the URL. The radio or modem type should be set as STM DVM, MM DVM, HS Raspberry Pi Hat GPIO. Uh, no type is private, whatever your time zone and dashboard language, and click apply changes. Now, once we have that entered, we will have uh, a couple of new menu items. Put in our DMR ID. Our frequency is 438.5875. That's the DMR channel one simplex, which I think is handier than having a hotspot. It means anyone can use the, the hotspot uh, if they want. Uh, we set the radio modem type to STM32DVM for the Raspberry Pi hat. Our time zone is London, English UK. Click on apply changes. Now the DMR master, in my case it's Phoenix F, which is DMR plus IPSC two dash Phoenix F, and click on apply changes. Now, we can check now that we're connected by going to the IPSC2 Phoenix F dashboard, and we can see there that we're connected. So, that's basically the, the setup. So, now I'll show you uh, a QSO on the radio. Okay, now we're going to do a simple echo test on 4385875. This is Mike in Day Zero Hotel Oscar Zulu doing an echo test. This is Mike in Day Zero Hotel Oscar Zulu doing an echo test. So that's our hotspot up and running. Any questions just leave them below. Thanks very much for watching.